Hello guys, welcome to Purple Trades. In today's session, we're going to continue the option classes where we left in the previous video. And I hope you have seen all the videos. And this video is a continuation of uh, the last video. And in today's class, we're going to talk about time decay, which is also called as premium decay. And now we know that uh, as asset gets older, the value associated with the asset gets older. So naturally, the premium associated with the asset will also get older. For example, if you take a car of 10 lakh rupees, and you pay a premium of around 1 lakh rupees let us say for the first year of the insurance now after using for one year next year if you will go for insurance renewal you will definitely have to pay premium or the car insurance premium lesser than the previous year that is 1 lakh rupees you might have to pay this year maybe around 80,000 rupees itself that means as the asset value is getting depreciated the premium associated with the asset is also getting depreciated and as the time goes on every year and year you have to pay lesser premium compared with the less, uh, previous premium similarly each contract in Indian market is valid till last Thursday of every month and on the last Thursday the contract becomes useless and since the contract becomes useless the premium associated with this contract also becomes zero that means on the day of expiry premium becomes zero but is this zero of the is this decay linear or exponential or how is it let us try to check that using this graph so let us try and understand how time decay works so if i draw a graph of premium versus time let us say y axis is premium and x axis is time and this point represents first day of the contract and the end point represents let us say the last day of the contract that is expiry so naturally the premium will be highest on the first day of contract so let us say this point is the highest point of premium so premium will be highest on the first day of contract now as time erodes or as the time passes the premium decays and slowly 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 it will become zero now the process of premium decay is exponential now what do i mean by exponential exponential means if i split the graph into two equal halves then in the first 15 days of the month assuming that the contract is valid for one month in the first 15 days the decay is very less the decay from this point is only till this point right and in the last 15 days the decay is very intense from this point to completely till zero for example if the premium on first day is 10 then in the first 15 days it might fall to only 7.5 then the last 15 days from 7.5 the premium will completely erode down to zero and because of this the value of in the money and out of the money and at the money gets gets greatly impacted now on the day of expiry the value of in the money will be only intrinsic value because this premium that is decaying is also called as extrinsic value this premium is also called as extrinsic value and since this extrinsic value is becoming zero so for in the money the only value that is left over on the day of expiry is intrinsic value and the value of at the money on normal days is extrinsic value on the day of expiry if extrinsic value itself will become zero then the entire value of at the money becomes zero so on the day of expiry the value of at the money becomes zero similarly the value of otm on the day of expiry will become zero so that means on the day of expiry only in the money will have some values associated with it and that value is called as intrinsic value intrinsic value is nothing but the difference between current market price and strike price apart from in the money at the money and out of the money be it for call or for put will become zero on the day of expiry and this entire process is called as premium decay or time decay now because of this decay factor it is always advised to buy options only during the first 15 days if you want to buy in options it is always safe to buy in the first 15 days and buying the option in the next 15 days can become very risky because even if the stock will go in your favor because of the decay that happens in the stock you might end up in losses even if the stock is moving in your favor so that is the only reason why because of the premium decay factor we advise you to trade in option in the first 15 days of the contract and not in the last 15 days of the month i hope you have understood this video do like and share and subscribe with uh, your trader team thank you so much